uh, but ultimately, I think they've had three shots, maybe four, and they've scored uh, from all of them. Uh, the, you get days like that, especially I think when you're in a bit of a funk, that the opposition is is more clinical than us, and they punished us today with uh, a couple of excellent goals. Let's go, guys. Now, Rob, uh, you mentioned the first half performances from the previous games. Was that first half the Canada that we, we probably should have seen the, the whole tournament? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, we're not going to hide behind that. The, the, it wasn't this game that done us in. It was uh, not showing up in three first halves. Uh, and whether we blame the Heat or anything else, you know, at least the boys responded in the right manner today. They dug in and gave all they have, and I think even the late goal, you know, a little bit of fatigue set in. Uh, it's a long haul, and just those little errors. We talked to at halftime about defending the crosses, uh, and they snuck across us, got a good crossing in the header, and then we just didn't quite push out quick enough and let them bypass our midfield, and he's, he's, he's hit an unbelievable shot to win the game. But certainly that was a more Canadian performance, and certainly more of what I know of these boys. So I couldn't fault the effort and the work rate tonight. I think we just didn't take our chances. Uh, which you know has been a problem for us in the past, and to be fair, they were absolutely clinical tonight. So, and what do you think of Jeremy? You gave him the armband tonight. He was thundering in on some of the tackles. And what do you think of the, the steel he brought to the field? Yeah, I mean, sheer heart and determination, right? And uh, that's what we've come to expect from Jeremy. Uh, and as he progresses in his career. Uh, that'll be a big help for him and when the game is less transitional he can sit in behind the ball uh, and connect the play and then look to press at the right times. You see uh, collectively we're a much better organised team. Uh, we just didn't punish them unfortunately today. We, you know, we had a good shout for a penalty at 2-1. That didn't come off uh, and again little moments change games. They got back into it and then you've got a world class strike to win the game for them. Scott. Regardless of you know, teams that advance or don't, they, you always look to the future. What do you see for the future for this group of players and Canadian youth soccer in general? I think what we hope, especially for these group of players, you know, that they've done fantastically well for me over the last three years. And as we talked about in tournament football, it, it's a microcosm and, and the cycle has been very difficult to come here in January uh, with a long break. That's been difficult for the players to, to get themselves into game readiness. Uh, but hopefully they can learn those lessons uh, and build from that. That's the ultimate aim of our national youth team programs, that they, they build from each tournament experience. It's a staging post. They need to learn the lessons, and if we can get four, five, six of these guys moving on, continuing their professional careers uh, and strengthening our senior team down the line, then that's our ultimate aim.